Join of the week's back, baby, and we're doing some proud dovetails today. I'm running a contest over on Instagram. I released a video a couple weeks ago, which I'll link here in the corner and down below. Uh, we're giving away $1,000 in cash and prizes, including this number 62 Lee Nielsen hand plane and a bunch of other stuff. It's a really cool contest, and I wanted to do some dovetails in honor of that contest, so we're doing proud ones today, which are such a cool look. One of my favorite dovetail looks, because the dovetails are proud, they have a chamfer on them, super geometric, and look really neat, especially with the end grain and the long grain showing. So let's get into it. I've got some white oak prepared, and we're gonna head over to the table saw and cut a little rabbit in these. Now this is where things get important. Now you saw me cut a quarter inch rabbit here, which is going to allow our tails board to stick out a quarter inch. Plus, uh, if you go watch this video that I link right up here in the top right hand corner for you, uh, it's a comprehensive guide to cutting dovetails. I spend 27 minutes telling you every tip and trick I know for cutting dovetails. So some of these things we're gonna breeze over, but this is very important. So I've done a quarter inch rabbit here. So when I mark the pins board out, I am going to do my layout line the exact thickness of the boards because we've removed a quarter inch, that's gonna allow these to stick out a quarter inch. And now on the tails board, I've done this a quarter inch past the pins board. And so this layout line is the thickness of the boards plus a quarter inch. Pretty simple, you just have to use a different marking gauge setting for each one. So we're gonna mark out our pins board now while we have it out and then lay out for our tails get them cut with uh, my new Suzanne Dezuki that I got from the Cat's Moses store, cheaper than Amazon. All right, let's get to cutting. Okay, so we've got our tails cut and I'm starting to get excited. These are gonna look really cool. I usually don't do dovetails this big, but white oak looks so good on the end grain that I thought it'd be fun to kind of do some bigger ones. Now it's time to mark out our tails and you wanna be cognizant of the fact that the top quarter of this doesn't even matter. So you need to be make sure that you're marking off your rabbit there. And we're gonna use a dovetail alignment board. It's a fancy version of the ones I sell in my store to help us line this up. And we're gonna mark out our pins and give them a chop. Okay, now we have our pins all done and cleaned up. Uh, when you're doing them this big, it's especially important to make sure you have no humps in the middle. So I've checked that with a square. And now it's time to do our final fit up. Now, a little trick when you're doing a final fit up, you should be pretty close at this point. I mean, there may be some pairing to do and that's okay. But I like to just put it on top and I'll just give it a little tap. And then here's what happens. Look, you can see right here that my tail is smushed over in this top corner. And that lets me know that I need to remove just a tiny bit of material. And that's very easy to do with a Cat's Moses dovetail jig and a large chisel. Because what you can do here is take your jig and line it up, take a chisel, the biggest one you got, and you just put it in that little divot that you created. And that allows you to just pare down at the perfect angle. And that should get us a lot closer. Yep, I can already see that side's going in. So we just have a little bit more right here. And another thing you can do too, if you're worried about it, is make sure that there's no up and down humps in your dovetail. So if you didn't wander, so you can take your square and take a look and make sure there's no hump that is keeping you from completing that. All right, so let's get these glued up and then I'm gonna show you how to deal with the proud portions of it. We 
we're gonna go ahead and start chamfering our corners. Now, you wanna make sure that whatever you're using is very sharp. You risk tear out, especially when you're going across the grain here on the ends. And so you wanna be using a chisel. A block plane can work great like along the tails, but it probably wouldn't work very well on your pins. Um, so you wanna use a chisel and just go slow. Establish an angle and reference it regularly and just sort of get a look and make sure that you're staying consistent and just go really slow. Don't try and take big bites. You just wanna do a little bit at a time and watch for tear out. Now, you can do things like create a backer board. So put like a little piece of wood behind there if you're using your block plane, um, but go slow. And when you're going across the grain like this, you want to have already chamfered this side further than you're going here. And that's gonna really help you with tear out. So let's get these chamfered up and uh, get some finish on them. So even after I warned you guys, I stupidly got a little chip out here, but that's an easy fix. You just put a little glue on there and tape it up with a little blue tape and you will be fine. Man, those came out so good. I love the way proud dovetails look. And these are pretty extreme as far as like size goes, but uh, you could trim them closer and do like an eighth of an inch. I think that would look really good too. You just really wanna go slow with your chisel. And when you're getting to those corners, kind of rotate it up and sort of make an upward motion. So that way you're not coming straight off the corner. And if you do screw up, especially if you have ones that are proud like these by a quarter inch, you could take, them and easily trim them off at your table saw or something like that. Just give them a slight trim and you could start over. But one of the things to remember if you're gonna do these is that you're not gonna be able to remove your layout lines after you glue it up. I didn't really think about that, so there was no way for me to remove those after the fact. But some people think that looks good, some don't. I'm not gonna answer. Uh, guys, head over to Instagram and check out that contest. Really massive prize pack. It's gonna be so cool. It's like hashtag 2019 IG dovetail challenge. Mark will put that up on the screen. Um, if you want to support the channel, best ways head over to the Cats Moses Woodworking Store. Buy yourself a dovetail jig, a stop blocker, a t-shirt. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe.